hundred percent. All right. Hi, I'm Simon Reynolds and I'm back. New season, new dates. And to be honest with you, I'm not impressed with the what? dating scene. Loud as fuck. Oh, was loud. <laughs> Let me turn down She's just a little my bit. Ear drums. I think 99% of the world's problems will be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. I've given some high scores. <laughs> I thought we might as well do the date properly. Ah, oh, see, I like this. And I've definitely given some low scores. So, like, I'll just save you in those Caribbean lingers. With my I want to ask, so, the, did you hear what Andrew Tate just said? Because this is our biggest video, so. Um, yes, I did. Um, <laughs> do you agree? Do you disagree? What's up? Real quick before we jump into the main. Uh, no, me personally, I don't think body count matters. Okay, why? Why you don't think so? Because, Stop the cap. Because you can't medically measure it. So hmm? who gives a fuck? Wait, a wait, wait. A woman's vagina does not change based on how much sex she has. Okay. That's a scientific fact. So why the fuck does it That's matter? That's actually not. But okay. yes. So if you, uh, that's, that can't be a fact because you, you telling me that a woman that's a, maybe two twins, not two twins, twins, one was a 100% virgin and another one was fucking niggas that had 12 inch dicks that had diameters of this big or whatever the case, I'm doing extreme for a reason, that they gonna be the exact same when you fuck both of them. Yes. No. Because that's not. because the vagina is literally elastic. That's how we give birth to babies. That shit snaps well, right back. I and a bunch that. of cocks are not nearly as big as a fucking child. I understand. So that. it will not change it at all. That is a scientific fact. Look it up. Like, Even though this <laughs> argument is is mute, it's this still doesn't make sense. You, you I don't gave have you... to believe it, but it's true. It's just science. All right. So you again, exactly. I was very specific with my wording. One female did not have sex at all, and another one had sex multiple times with multiple big dick ass niggas. Okay, well, you if, mean to tell me that they both gonna feel or have the same exact no. elasticity? If she's a virgin, then no, that's a different story because their cherry hasn't been popped and their hymen hasn't been broken. But okay, so then it doesn't go back to where it was. No, because their hymen's been torn. That's what, that's what a cherry pop is. That's what happens when you lose your virginity. When you're a girl, your hymen breaks, and that's why you bleed a little bit. That's why it's called a pop cherry. I understand that. I already know this. <laughs> I'm saying that means it defeats the purpose of your claim that you said earlier, that it goes back to where it was. Now, let's say the peri... After that, it does. After the cherry's been popped, it goes back because it's elastic. Okay. So I, let me rephrase my thing. Before we can't even get to the main meat. No poem of pause. Pause on that. <laughs> Let's say a dude that's in, I don't know, I don't even say a race because this may seem racist, but a dude has a small pee pee <laughs> and he had sex with her. Maybe he was like three inches, he wasn't that big, etc. Mm -hmm. One time and popped her cherry, right? Versus another female that had multiple big dick people in her consistently. You mean to tell me that they're going to be exactly the same if they was twins? Most likely, yes. <laughs> I don't believe it. But all right, let's carry on. But that's, that's not even the point. The point is, going back to the body count thing, that's you think that is... That's matter, because... Do you think that men care more about do. how many partners you had versus how many, how elasticity or your, your vagina is? No, they care about how many people you've slept with. Exactly. So, for that argument, I don't even understand what you're saying when you're talking about it's, it goes back to normal. You say that it doesn't matter because a, a woman's vagina goes back to normal. It That's doesn't. Your argument. It just matters to guys because they're prideful as fuck. <laughs> okay, and you don't think body count matters to females? Honestly, no. Hell, if most females, ninety percent of females lie about their body count. I would. I would. I agree. I would so agree. So why would they? But if they lie about it, that means they care about it. Yes? No, because we're lying about it because y'all care about it so much. That's the only reason why we have to lie is because we're competing with these other bitches who haven't had as much sex as us and guys find that more attractive. So then we got to be like, oh shit, I haven't slept uh. with that many people. Mm. All right, let me be, let me give you some game right now. Okay. Both men and women care about body count for different reasons. Women, women care about a man's body count because guess what? Body count equals more experience. Most of the time, maybe you might be different, 
But most women would prefer a dude that's experienced, that knows what he's doing, that knows how to talk to a woman, that knows how to progress things in a comfortable, right, convenient, true. sexual manner. True. You have to have experiences to be able to do that. So body count, to some degree, matters. Now, when it comes to the male side, we care. We don't. We want inexperience. We don't want you to know unless we, you know, using you for sex. We don't want you to know how to throw it down all day long, etc., and be super duper experienced and take you out and be in a relationship with you. Again, if it's for sex reasons only, yeah, one hundred percent. Be high body count as you want to, as long as you're clean. But for relationship type shit, we don't want you high have high body count. I agree. Okay. <laughs> Can we carry on? <laughs> Last jobs. Stay the oh, obvious. Yes. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no, go ahead. Oh, you're just stating the obvious. Oh. It's time to find a man that can tick all the boxes. Do you know what? There wasn't actually any red flags. Wow. Girl, come here. How many times you will find love? I'm here to go on a date, I think. Or a debate? I don't know. Someone put a bag over my head and told me to show up here and they just brought me here. Do you go on a lot of dates? Ooh. We're in England, so I can't evoke the fifth. Damn, what, what, what do you guys say when you don't want to incriminate yourself here in England? No comment. Yeah, okay, no comment. Okay, no comment. What do you expect on the first date? Then we can continue. What do I expect on the first date? Mm hmm Well, it depends on if I asked him out or he asked he me out. So you asking guys out? If I like him, I will. That didn't answer the question. Are you asking guys out? That's a yes or no question. I have in the past, yes. Okay. So, if he asks you out, but what do you expect? Recently, no. But yeah, if he asks me out, then I expect to be fed. <laughs> Damn. Uh, okay. And I expect to just have a good time. Like, what if y'all go to a bowling alley? What if... That's fine. It's chill. Okay. Bowling alleys are fun. Okay. So, I'm but you said be fed. Is that your, I'm yeah. guessing that's your go to? I mean, I just like food, and usually dates include food, so I usually expect that when somebody asks me out. Okay. What's the most expensive date you've been on? What was just the price? You, you don't got to break it down, but what was like the total price range average? Expensive. Probably like, mm, i say 400 to 600. Okay. Maybe more. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Some sims out here. <laughs> By that, I'm judging you're a one night kind of guy. Two to three. I try to keep my retention somewhat high. I need a good rating on what, what, what do you guys use here? TripAdvisor. Trip you guys use TripAdvisor? It's a 1997? What the hell? Can Cheyenne ask you whatever she likes? Yeah. Yeah. I got nothing to hide unless it's like former government stuff. But other than that, I, I'll, I'll say whatever that I can disclose. Yeah. And finally, are you ready? I think so. I don't know. The dudes that kidnapped me and brought me here, they said it would be fun. I don't know. What are you doing today to change your own? Hell stream, hell stream, hell stream. 30 minutes ago. Hell stream, hell stream. I'm taking this can of. Hell stream. Hey, what's up? How are you? Hi, hi. I'm nice fine. To meet you. Nice to meet Mar you. Pleasure to meet Myron. you. You're going to give me a hug or what? Don't oh, okay. Hug. Damn. <laughs> nice to nice meet you. Are you going to hug? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> When I first watched this, I was like, no fucking way. He said, can I get a hug, bruh? Well, well, he didn't say it in that demeanor. That shit's a meme. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say it in that demeanor. But... Uh, it don't matter how he says it. He said it. <laughs> so if a, if a dude, you was on, about to be on the first date, this was your first date, and it was like, hey, can I get a hug? Is you going to look any different? Usually, I go in and hug them anyways because okay. I'm a hugger. But okay. if he's like, can I get a hug? I'm like, bro. <laughs> Don't ask me, just do it. Ooh, that is actually true. How are you? Chilling. It smells mm -hmm. nice. Thank you. I try. He made me hug him. I don't know why I done that. <laughs> so, how are you? Chilling. Chilling. Doing well. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. How about yourself? I'm good, thank you. Good. It's a bit hot in here though, so my hands are. Yeah, a bit it like, is. Ugh. It is warm. I will say that it's definitely yeah. warm, but it's called grilling, right? So. Oh, I like that. Attractive but typical girl. So, tell me about you, Myron. What are the first things you notice on a first date? Or you tend to notice? Uh, their mannerisms. Mm, uh, like what do you mean? Just how they treat other people, how they treat me, if they're respectful. They're not rude to like restaurant people or workers and shit like that. That okay. shit pisses me off. Um, if they can like actually keep conversation too, because I hate carrying conversations. Mm. That shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm a professional misogynist. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, loved by some, hated by many. 
Just yeah. on the internet, yeah. On the internet. Yeah, yeah. we're both on the internet. I've yeah, seen... It's a strange life. Yeah. <laughs> I've strange. seen some videos. You're not a fan of me, are you? Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of many things. Yeah? I just happen to be in there maybe a little bit. Why is that? We disagree on some things. I thought we might get on, though. <laughs> That's why I'm, like, interested. Great, off to a great start. He hates me. I think it's very important to be able to articulate your views, and if you don't agree with someone, it doesn't mean you have to hate them, but... Exactly. You know, but I think being too agreeable is not good. Very really? Bad. Especially as a man. Because typically if a guy is too agreeable, you can't trust him. Really? Yeah. Why? Because all men want to get laid. And if you don't tell the truth and you're just being agreeable, well, he's trying to get laid and he's trying to lie as well. Oh. So. Well, at least a man actually admits all men are trying to get laid. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh. It's absolutely pointless to have a female friend. No, no, it's not pointless to have a female friend. Oh, shit, here we go. Very good. 100%. <laughs> Why guys sit there and be friends with girls? It's pointless. Stupid. So you don't have any female friends? What are your thoughts so far before we go dive deeper? I think it's <clears throat> dumb to say it's pointless to have a female friend. <clears throat> you already know I feel this way. Cause I know. That, that's why I'm doing the video. You don't even consider me your friend, which <laughs> makes me sad. But that's why I'm doing the video. Go ahead, continue. I just disagree. Like, I think male and female can be friends. Okay. And I think they both profit on friendships with each other. Okay. How does a female profit and how does a male profit? Well, simply if they get along. Mm -hmm. You know, friendships, good friendships are rare, so you should take advantage of everyone you get, no matter okay. what they are, who they are, what they identify as. Yeah. And you guys can discuss, like... Okay, let me, let's rewind for just a second. What is your definition of a friend? Let's start with there. Definition of a friend? Uh, somebody who's got your back. Somebody okay. who you can talk to about anything. Somebody who's been, been with, through some shit with you. Because like, if they aren't somebody that you can actually talk about deep shit with, yeah. then they're just an acquaintance. Okay. But if there's someone that you can actually like, break shit down with, and yeah. like, you guys have been through shit, then that's definitely like, a friend. Okay. Okay, now go ahead and continue. Uh, oh yeah, they can, so like, if a male and female are friends, they can help each other try to understand each other's gender better, and like, like, f for with, with my guy friends, like, they've told me how guys work, and shit like that, so I'm better able to understand them when I get in a relationship, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Okay, so you think that, okay, give me, I guess, give me three benefits that a male gets being a friends with a female, and three that a female gets being a benefit of being with a male. All right, as a woman. Yeah, let's, let's talk about it, because this is, we, we had a discussion, full disclosure, we had a discussion about this before, and that's why I want her to do this reaction video. Okay. As a woman, you can benefit from male friends. Mm -hmm. One, by understanding more about men and how they work, because I think of that's course. something everybody has to do on this life. Okay. Two, they can understand manly things like sports and mostly just like sports and nerdy shit that guys are into, you know, because okay. unless girls have like a dad or brothers that are into that shit, most of them like don't know anything about it. Okay. So just exposing them to manly shit so they understand it and don't look like fucking idiots, you mm -hmm. know, in front of other people. And a third one... Um, just, I don't know, they have fun. <laughs> All right, well, well, let me answer that for you, then you can go to the girl I love side. all my guy friends. Like. Oh, my God. <laughs> let me answer that for you. Majority of the time, guys are there. Basically, I'm going to just put this shit in a nutshell. You basically her boyfriend without the benefits of sex. you giving her all this male attention. You're giving her security. Some, a lot of times you're giving her... I never said that. Huh? It's not they're always giving me attention and security, though. My guy I, no, I'm speaking in general, and I'm speaking to yes. If you, uh, I'm talking, about, and I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm talking about women that are friends with men. Generally general? speaking, okay. they generally the guy is giving them advice, the guy is helping them with this, helping them with that, etc. And they typically are not getting things back in return. What are they getting? So now, now I want to go to that second part of the question, which is what are the things that our guys are getting? from being in relationship for friendships with females? They're able to understand us the same way that we try to understand them. Uh, okay, so when, <laughs> so when it comes to 
mm, this is gonna be hard to even communicate. But when it comes to a guy trying to understand females, should he try to understand females from a female perspective or from a male perspective getting females? Both. Okay. Do you think that most women know what they want? No. Thank you. Do you think that most women, so if you don't know what you want, how can you even communicate that to a guy to get with, get out of females what he wants? Huh? Yeah, I got him. All right. If majority of women don't even understand what they themselves want, uh -huh. that means you damn sure can't understand what other females want. That means you can't communicate to your male friends on how to get what the males want from females. Well, it's not just about what females want, but it's just about how they are and how they like act and what goes through our heads and shit like that. Okay, and I, I understand that. And that, that is a good perspective to maybe have, but you can get that same exact perspective from females that you're dating, from other females. My thing is this, right? When it comes to friendships, Generally speaking, again, maybe you might be different, so let's put that disclosure right, right. out there. But generally speaking, when you're in a friendship with a female, you're giving her all the benefits of your masculine energy without her having to perform and give you her benefits of her feminine energy. Generally speaking, the female is not most of the times cooking for the dude every single day. She's not giving him massages. She's not being nurturing. She's not taking care of him. That's... She's not giving sex. I wasn't finished. She was she having given sex, etc. But a lot of times, the guy is protecting her, giving her attention, giving her validation, maybe even going out to uh, friend dates and shit, and giving her free shit majority of the time. I definitely disagree. Okay, how? Why? Because how? most of the time, if it's just a platonic friendship between a man and a woman, mm -hmm. they're not... Just from what I've seen, usually the dude isn't doing too much like extra relationshipy shit, and the girl isn't either. They both like are equal, pretty much. They're given and receiving equally. Mm -mm. But generally speaking, even if it was like strictly platonic and they barely talk type of shit, the girl is trying to say, "Oh, I had this happen to me. What do you think about this? What should I do about that? What should? Oh, this guy did this to me. Blah blah blah. Well, what do you think about that?" It's not typically on an equal scale of, "Hey, what girl problems are you having? Let me give you advice. Let me see what's going on in your life. Let me see how to help you." It's mostly the guy helping the female. Okay, so in that place they may not be balanced, but I think that girls make up for it because Guys want dudes around. Guys look better. Or sorry, guys want girls around. Say, <laughs> they look better. They look better the more girls they have around them. So in that regard, if you have a shit ton of female friends, you're gonna look like you're you're bullying. It doesn't matter if you're not fucking them, as long as they're around you or like like say if the dude's going out and he's got like five homegirls he pulls up with, like he's a man, you know? So in that mm. way, it's just the same as girls getting invited on the yachts and shit like that. Mm. It's, I'm going to be completely honest. And now I got to be completely, completely honest. I do understand what you're saying. I do to some degree. I get what you're saying that if you have girls around you, other girls are going to be like, oh, damn, he's a cool person. He's a, you know, social caliber. He's not a weirdo, a creep, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times girls can smell that. He's just a friend vibe. So then you actually do the opposite of what you're supposed to do. For example, if you brought, I don't know, three girls to the bar, to the fucking bucket. That's where we at right now. To the bucket, right? And those three girls just start talking to other niggas. The girls going to look at him like, damn, like he got, he got girls around him, but right. none of them want to try him. But none of them want to try him. So it might be something wrong with him. It might have the opposite effect is what I'm saying. I do get what you mean. I completely understand what you mean. But I'm saying in real world circumstances, it may have the opposite effect. Yeah, I was thinking more of like he'd want to show off to other guys instead of girls, if you know what I'm saying. Who cares about that? We trying to fuck. We're not trying to show off. I mean, maybe yeah. some dudes are trying to show off, but we ain't trying to show off like that. But, True. Right, I mean, for go. their friends, I don't know. Okay. Friends. Absolutely not. It's a waste of time. How is it a waste of time? Because women don't offer much utility to you as a guy. What makes you think that? Well, hmm. I mean, if you get in some kind of fight, she can't do nothing. What's she going to do? She's going to be like, oh my God. It's like, Why would then, you want a woman If anything, fight? she's a liability. That's what I'm trying no, to say. But a woman would fight. Like, I'd fight a woman for you if you're my man. I don't want my girl to be involved in any type of physical confrontation. Really? That's, that's not her job. That's my job. So I look at it like, if I'm with a girl, 
and I'm supposed to protect her and provide for her, etc. I want that to be my woman. I'm not going to give that type of energy to like a friend. That's stupid. Why am I going to put my life on the line for a girl that doesn't even suck my dick? Thanks. Wait, but is that too much there? I don't. I think you should just be able to have a friendship with women, though. Well. Well, firstly. I swear to God, I said that same shit one day. It's not always like men versus women, mm -hmm. so I kind of. Hey, Myron, if you watch my show, man, just tell me, my boy. Feel like having female friends will give you that balance to understand. Like, there's actually nice, normal women out there that aren't just trying to sleep with you, like for your money or everything like that. We we bring a lot of value. I've interviewed almost 1,600 women now at this point, and I would say. Without a shadow of a doubt, women are absolutely terrible at being uh, understanding what it takes to be attractive to women as a man. Mm. So their advice typically is not good at all. 1,600 women, poor women. Men carry like a lot of like hurt, and they push it on women. Okay, hurt in what way? Yeah, I, I think it's because like for example, this incel culture, which like respectfully, like your <laughs> podcast uh -huh. really brings to life. Mm -hmm. You're just projecting onto women unnecessarily. Because there's a lot of good women. Like, I myself would say I'm a good woman. I don't do anything wrong. I'm very loyal. I'm a do you consider yourself a good woman? Yeah. Okay, and what's a good woman? Well, somebody who has their shit together. Somebody who's attractive. When you say shit together, you mean like emotionally, spiritually, financially? Oh, okay. What do you mean exactly? Mentally, physically, emotionally. Financially is a plus, but okay. that's but not But you don't really, think it's necessary? Yeah, I mean, it's not really what guys look for. Okay. Um, Ooh, where you learn that from? Okay. I've been on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and, I, I mean, I can cook shit. Did you eat that shit yet? No. <laughs> 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 that shit's buzzing. I'm um, gonna see. But, yeah. Okay, so, so to put it down in layman terms, you said... You are stable in what finances? Not finances. You said stable in mentally, spiritually, etc. What about anything else? Can you um, be a good woman if you have a thousand bodies? Depends on your age. Okay. Um, I would say somebody who has slept around a lot would be a little bit lower on the scale, just because in every culture promiscuity sucks. And yeah. Literally looked down on so. In females, yes. Yeah, in females, um, so I don't think that'd be as good. But also somebody who uh, knows how to take care of people, because that's a, like essential mm. if you're a woman. You have to be like nurturing and caring, and <sighs> agreeable. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even say the word. That's I, I know you're not agreeable. Because I'm not agreeable. I, know. <laughs> I disagree. We know. <laughs> the whole channel knows. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Kind women. And a lot of men will make the assumptions because of podcasts like yours and people and men like you to then push that onto me. That I'm a, this kind of woman. I'm a gold digger and I'm this and that and I'm not. I'll swing, I'll swing, I'll swing. Bro, come on. Well, the reality is, would it be fair to say that most men, I mean, you said there's a whole insult culture, et cetera. Would it be fair to say that most guys are losers and don't, don't really measure up? I personally don't think that. But Keep it I a thousand. No, but I'm saying, Keep it no, a thousand. No, I personally don't. Let me ask you the same exact question. Let me see your face over there. Do you think that most guys are losers? 100%. <laughs> Damn, and why is that? 1,000%. And why is that? Because they have to work for everything. What do you mean? Where do they know? De well, depending on their situation, but... If you're born as a pretty girl, your life's gonna be pretty easy. Mm -hmm. But if you're born so. as a man, no matter how attractive you are, I mean, attractiveness always helps, but mm -hmm. you have to build yourself up in every single level mm -hmm. before she knows you're. Oh, son. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, genuinely, I don't. Okay. Like, I genuinely Being politically don't. correct. I'll keep it real since you don't want to. Most guys, I'll be honest, are fat losers and don't have leadership qualities. And there's a whole bunch of reasons for that. And most women, quite frankly, are terrible. They're whores, fat, rude, crass, whatever it may be. And most of them don't qualify for a relationship and most guys don't qualify to be the leader of said relationships. I think it goes on both parts, okay? The men are weak and the women, there's a bunch of issues there. So what we basically highlight on our podcast is you need to be the best version of it. You're shaking your head, what do you mean? What's going on? Yeah, just, this guy's an ass. What do you mean? Just keep playing. No, 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 no. Why do women or people, uh, yeah, women and emotional people care so much about how someone says something versus their actual message and what they say? 
Because did he say anything that was incorrect, factually? Mm, got, mm, crickets. Stop. No, he didn't say anything incorrect. Just the way he said it. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So why does it matter the way you say it versus the message? Would you rather, matter of fact, let me just ask you a personal question. Would you rather someone lie to you but be blunt, honest, no, and asshole? No, it's not about that. It's about their tone of voice and the emotion behind the message. That always affects the message. If I say, hey, what's up, Don? Or if I say, hey, what's up, Don? Mm -hmm. There's a difference. Uh, you can well. choose one or the other, and your message is going to be completely different. It's sad. All right. So when it comes to message of delivery of information, I think that's different than your approach to introducing yourself to someone. I think contextually, we can both agree that that's different, right? I, as a human being, would much rather quickly and effectively get the message of whatever the effective information is versus you dressing it up and I may miscommunicate what you were trying to communicate no, to me. No, I agree. It should be straight and to the point. But what he said, he was like, can you rewind it a little bit? Oh, God. Um... Relationships. I think it goes on both parts, okay? The men are weak, and the women, there's a bunch of issues there. See? So That was just unnecessary as fuck. No, it's not. How? Because said, men are weak. Yes. And women have a whole bunch of problems. <laughs> I'm confused. He just made it seem like women are worse because they have a bunch of problems versus just being weak. I didn't even even think about that shit on. That's what I'm saying. Day. This is how girls receive this shit because and that's we why be I have this whole podcast. No, no, <laughs> overanalyze it. But that's why I made this podcast just so I could get some or gain some perspective. Yeah. But I'm gonna be honest. I would much rather have problems than be weak. So from my perspective, it's pretty much well, equal. Yeah, because you're you're a guy. I get that. But what I'm trying to communicate to you is. That me listening to how he speaks, it doesn't sway of saying that females have it worse because he said this, it, uh, they have problems versus men having being weak. Yeah, so it doesn't bother you. I would, I would argue majority of niggas, would, that wouldn't bother. And that's the majority of the audience is dudes. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I was just sharing my female... I'm emotional. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then, then really quickly, why, why do you think that is? Or why do you feel that? What, what makes you feel that? Because from my perspective, it seems like he's just being truthful and honest about the male problems being weak and female problems having a lot of problems because there's multiple problems. I mean, it's that. not even like that big of a deal. It's just like a tiny thing I notice. It's just by saying they have a bunch of problems compared to one thing, it makes them seem... Worse. Oh, okay. See, see, I'm, I'm understanding. Many, see, that's what one. I'm... Yeah. Okay, so you're saying that by him saying just one problem from the male side, yes. and you saying that, oh, the females have yes. a lot of problems, yes. it makes it seem like the females have just majority He's insinuating more... insinuating that they God, have more mm, shit. Makes sense, but all right, let's continue. <laughs> I don't agree, but makes sense. What we basically highlight on our podcast is you need to be the best version of yourself. And I think the thing is, is that guys are yearning for this because... We've been lying to men for the better part of five to six decades about what being masculine and strong actually is. We've been demonizing it when in reality, guys need to become stronger. Because no woman wants a weak man, even though girls say dumb shit like, oh, well, you know, I want you to be emotionally intelligent and get in tune with your feelings or whatever. It's all a lie. Oh, see. Okay. No, there's a, but I personally would like a man that's emotionally available and emotionally intelligent, but it's not me saying, like, oh, well, the cat. crying all the time. So, do you know what I mean? I, I, it's true. Why are you making a face? Go ahead. Use your thoughts. Go ahead. We don't want to be dating somebody who's emotionless. You would rather date someone that has emotionally unavailable than someone who's emotionally super available. I would rather date somebody... Okay, let me rephrase this. I would be more sexually attracted to somebody who is less emotionally available. That's all we care about. Did You just stop right there. Okay, Pause. but I would not date you. No, I'd no, no. Be... To, to be able to date someone, you have to have sex with that person. Okay, no, all right, but... If I'm getting to know somebody who's not very emotionally available, I'd probably feel more attraction to them sexually because, you know, you want what is further out of reach. But I would rather date somebody who is more... So if I'm talking to another guy and he's more emotionally available, I would choose him over the other guy okay. if I wanted a relationship. There's lots of things that's wrong with that statement that you just made. How? The first thing. 
We don't care about relationships with females until we deem that you're worthy. So we are going to, as men, are problem solvers of saying, hey, how do I get vagina? What ways, do? how do I need to move? What do I need to look like? Do I need to get tattoos? How tall or short I need to be? What are my mannerisms, et cetera? What I need, car I need to drive, et cetera, et cetera. We are problem solvers and we're trying to find the best way to get vagina. We don't care about the best way to be in a relationship. That's number one. Number two, the way that you explain in it it's, correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of times there's girls that are in relationships that cheat on they do with the dudes that are unavailable emotionally. I would rather be the dude that's cheating, <laughs> meaning the girl cheating on her boyfriend with me than the dude getting cheated on. Fair. So if you was a b dude and you was a betting man on your life, which path would you choose? The path of being emotionally unavailable and getting results and getting sex and the things that you want, et cetera, and not getting taken advantage of and et cetera, versus, oh, it's lovey-dovey emotional, but you may get cheated on from here and there from different women. I don't think the emotional availability determines if you're going to get cheated on because it's usually a I think so, but go ahead. It's definitely a contributing factor. It's definitely a large factor, but it's not the only one. So you can't just base that on, oh, my girl's going to cheat on me if I'm emotional. I think that's the number one reason why females leave men or cheat on men. I completely disagree. Okay, and why? Because most of my girlfriends that have been in relationships, mm -hmm. they either... Actually, I don't think any of them cheated, but they all broke up with their boyfriends because they weren't emotionally available for them. I've seen that in so many, so many relationships. Mm -hmm. Like most of the ones I've seen, it's the girl breaking up with him because he's not doing shit for her, really. It's never, uh, oh, he's too attentive to me. Oh, he loves me too much. No. What? For real? Never, I've never seen that ever, ever, Stop ever, ever. What ever, are you ever. talking about? Maybe I see you that have, but... all the time. What? You don't you on social media? They always say it. Oh, he, oh, he's too. <coughs> damn. They always say, oh, damn, he's too nice. Oh, damn. AKA, he's too boring. AKA, he doesn't excite me enough. AKA, he doesn't make me go up and down in my emotions. He's too stable, etc. That's like literally so many females say that on Twitter, on Instagram, on social media, on different memes, etc. So you're basing all of your knowledge off of social media? I'm basing all my knowledge off of data and statistics. They even did a, a okay. research. Hold on real quick. They even did a research about this, about who cheats more, right? And they found out that women cheat more. And the number one reason was, guess what? what? Guess. What? Boredom. Because they're not, because most of them are not getting enough attention from their guy. Oh my God. Okay. If <laughs> when you're it basing everything that you're saying off of what you've seen for some tweets or shit or something. No, no, no. Like, that was just, that was just anecdotal evidence. The real thing that's is That's not data. even evidence though. That's. Yes, it is. Social media can hardly count as evidence because most shit on there is a fucking lie. Oh you God. you never know what's okay. really just, true oh, no, on no, no, there, no, no, okay? No, no, no. You just said social media is the number one reason why the whole marketplace of dating is fucked up as it is now. It's because now women have the option to literally choose the best version of dudes that they can pick from. I agree. So now the girls that used to be in a town of fucking Cartersville and only date niggas in Cartersville can now reach out to Drake and Drake be like, damn, that's a bad bitch. Let me fly her out. That's literally the reason. So what you just said is actually incorrect. Social media single-handedly is one of the main things that you can look at and see data and how people move and how people maneuver and who they comment on and what type of videos they make and photos and et cetera. So I agree, but I just say it's unreliable. I would say it's the most reliable image of how humans act. Yes, I agree, but hella people lie and shit so that's what i'm saying like no you i can't get that just i get a lot of people believe, front you just, i'm just saying you can't believe everything you see on there okay then i, I would yeah. agree with that statement all right let's continue this is not agreeable okay like so i understand what you're saying but at the same time you have to give some room for men because like men's mental health is a serious like issue we tell guys not to be vulnerable in front of your girl 
You know, you, you go ahead, you're going to be vulnerable, you're going to shed a tear, whatever. You do that around other men to understand, you know, the male experience. Women don't understand the male experience at all. And it, it goes to show, like when I said earlier, when you put the girl in a male perspective, I want you to pick up this girl. They always fall flat on their face because women are in a privileged position where they don't have to necessarily understand what it takes to attract a man because men come to them. For me... As a partner, mm. I would want to be able to give my man a safe space to be able to be vulnerable. And it's like, but not completely like, oh my God, cry all the time. But just so he knows, like, it's like things are okay. You know, like, it's supposed to be a partnership. There, no, it's not a partnership. Do That's another well, comment. Hold on. Before we, before we go to the partnership shit, do you agree or disagree about the safe space and um, share your problems with me type of shit? Well, if I'm in a relationship, mm -hmm. I definitely want him to be comfortable with me emotionally. Okay. So that he can talk to me about shit he's going through, shit like that. Because I think a healthy relationship includes emotional communication with from both partners. Okay. But obviously I don't want him crying all the time. Or at least just don't cry as much as I do. If you cry more than <laughs> me, bro, no. Okay. Okay. And I don't cry very often, so. <laughs> exactly. But neither do most guys. And here's my, well, I disagree with that. But <laughs> In front of girls. Yeah, least. yeah. But... That in lies goes to my point, and then we continue, which is you don't know their limit. So maybe your limit might be different from another girl's limit because you might be a little bit more masculine and she might be a little bit more feminine. You don't know the female's limit of what's too much of you showing too much vulnerability right. for her to be unattractive to you, and then you fuck up the whole relationship. Well, that's why communication is important. But women don't know what they want, so she can't even communicate, oh, here is the level that you can be vulnerable with me, don't pass this level. Well, I think it's mostly just about crying, honestly, because okay. I, don't think, I don't think girls would... I don't think if you're in a relationship with a guy, you'd care to, too much if he's opening up to you and being vulnerable to you. Like, I, that's usually mm. a sign of love and trust, and that builds a relationship, mm. a healthy relationship. Okay. Now, here's but what... Oh, if, if you're, like, overly emotional, crying, or in other ways, getting angry, throwing shit, you know, mm -hmm. all of those extreme emotions, I think from the start of the relationship, you should just place boundaries and let each other know where you're at with that. Okay, I agree with what you just said, but I disagree with what you said earlier, which is it's not just about crying. For what I am experiencing or what I see, it's more so about her stability and her protection and security, right? So if you're a dude and you're in a relationship with someone, and let's say me and you together, and I'm like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to pay these bills, like... I don't know this, and then let's say I pay them, and then, I don't know, two months, three months down the line, I'm like, damn, I don't know what I'm going to do about these bills again, like, these bills are, ah, they's piling up, blah, blah, Let's say I'm not crying, let's say I'm not giving these extreme emotions, you and your mind, like, hold on, he's supposed to be the leader, he's supposed to be the one that's leading this relationship, etc. I can't trust his leadership, then respect starts to go down, and then the relationship and attraction will soon follow afterwards. All right, in that scenario, yeah. But I think that's what happens the majority of the time. If the girl times. isn't willing to try to help out, if there's like a problem with the bills, like me personally, mm. I'd be like, "Yo, let me help." But you know, I'm really, on yeah. some real shit. Man, I, I was my ex's sugar mama. I paid for everything. Where you at now? Everything. But most girls aren't like that, so I can't speak for you. But again, <laughs> so how do we know the gauge on the fucking level of someone being vulnerable? Communication. If you're in a relationship with someone, you're communicating with them. You're talking about all this shit, especially if you're starting to date, especially seriously date. Like, mm -hmm. you're going to talk about what makes you, what shit makes you feel what way and shit. I get that. I understand that. My, my overall point is, and then we can continue, is you don't, a female don't even know herself enough to know the level that you can complain or be vulnerable or be weak or show insecurities, etc. for her to be unattracted to you, for her to lose respect for you. That's my point. So for you as a man, you should be a little bit more stoic. You should be talking to your male friends. You should be not showing too much weakness, if at all any weaknesses, to your female. All right. Because in, you don't know the, the level. In the beginning, which. yes. Yeah, I agree. Okay. But, but, you know, if you guys are about to get married or some shit, like... I would different. even say then. I would say, I would say, 
continue being on your male friends, continue to have a, a network of, of males that actually you can respect, you admire, that you can trust, etc. And maybe every once in a while, let your woman in on what you're doing. But I would say let her in on the premise of I had a problem and I'm fixing it already. Not I have a problem and I don't know what to do and I don't know where to go. And then that's when shaky water come in and you just don't know. I mean, I guess. I, I don't know. I can't speak for other girls, so I don't know what, what else to say. Lying, <laughs> mm-hmm. modern day dating. It's not yeah, a partnership. But I want a partnership, though. Question for you. Oh, shit. I already know what he's going to say. Actually, I think I know what he's going to say. It's not a partnership. Well, no, I think he's going to... I'm going to get That's there. what he's going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Do you think it's a partnership before it goes there? Before he goes there? Do you think a relationship is a partnership? Do you yes. think it's a 50-50 partnership? I know it's a partnership. Let me rephrase my question. Do you think it's a 50-50 partnership, meaning that you should be both e- pretty much equal on most terms? Uh, I think it depends. I think it'd be probably more 60-40. Ah, okay. Why do you think that? Because literally what she's about to say, women provide for their man in different ways than men provide for them. So okay. they each bring their own biological natural traits to the table Mm -hmm. and you know those go together Mm -hmm. and that's the only way that two people male and female could work together okay is if they're both compatible and each have you know what's the word what just shit i don't know (laughs) (laughs) do you want a man that's taller than you um idealistically speaking i do probably because i like to wear heels majority do Do you want a guy that's stronger than you yes yeah do you want a guy that makes more money than you? Yeah. I'm not fussed about money. Okay. Well, you wanted to make at least your equivalent, if not preferably better. Remember, this is your ideal guy. Yeah. Okay. Do you want a guy that's more confident than yourself? Recordings oh just got better. What? I need to get <laughs> Hey, it's Daniel. I like helping out other YouTubers I'm so excited and shit, to announce that low- I need to yeah. more experience than yourself. Blocker. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You basically described the superior. So you expect this guy to come in and have a partnership with you? Whatever he might excel on, I'll also add value in other ways. Because it's not always about being physically on the same, on par with that person, just for certain requirements. Like you can't birth a baby, you know. And yeah, like that. but so, so we complement each other in other ways, and so we're still equal in that sense. Men and women are not equal at all, at all. That's another fallacy that we have in modern day dating culture, which leads so many women astray. We're not the same. There's certain things that men can do that women can that can't do, and vice versa. And we're different, and we're designed to complement each other. And I don't believe in partnerships. I think men come in and lead, women follow. Um, and I find it funny because women typically want a man. And it, here's the thing, what you just described is what every girl wants. But they think that they're gonna go into a relationship with a guy that's better than them in every single metric and it's gonna be an equal partnership or 50-50. It doesn't work that way. There's always a leader, there's always a decider. And for it to work, the man's gotta be in a leadership role, never the woman. Women can't lead anything. Here you come. Damn. Woo! What are your thoughts? Because I know you got some shit to say. Let's get it. This motherfucker is just uh. too fucking far on his on his spectrum. Like, he's just too harsh for it. <laughs> what do you mean? Explain. <sighs> just the blatant, like, shit he's saying. Like, oh, women can't lead. Oh, women aren't equal. Like, blah, blah, blah. He never said all. He just said women. He's, it don't matter. It don't matter. He it said women <laughs> insinuating all women. <laughs> No, because uh, no yes. we'll pause. Let's pause. Getting sassy. Hold on. Sassy. Hold on, sassy. Hold on <laughs> sassy. Generally speaking, because I'm a content creator just like he is, um, you know, pretty do, uh, pretty do. <laughs> I do pretty well for myself as well. When it comes to this space or spaces in general, talking, we don't have enough time to be nuanced and contextual on every single thing that we talk about. So we speak in generalities, right? So we say women, but we don't necessarily mean if we lined up all women on the earth, every single woman would fit that one thing. There is no instance where that is real. There will always be some minority. There will always be some outliers. I I know that, but still, the way he said it was fucked up. He could have totally said that a different way. Instead of saying men and women are not equal, just say men and women are different. No, women are men. By being different, you are not equal. <sighs> okay, but there's a lot of different <laughs> ways that we can be equal. We can be equal civically, politically, or we can be equal physically, or we can be equal emotionally. Like, not emotionally, not physically. That's what I'm saying, but there's a lot of different factors. So by saying we're not equal, if he's talking a political way, that should piss me off. 
you know? Okay. Even in a political way, I don't that, think I don't think we equal. I'm be honest. Even in a political way, I don't think we equal. But right, we don't, I don't want to go there. That's your opinion. Well, it's not an opinion. It's actually fact. But I don't want to go there right now because that's a different video. <laughs> point is, <laughs> uh-huh. let's talk about it and on the behind the scenes. Um, but point is, when it comes to this, we already understand that we're talking about in the context of dating, in the context of relationships, in the context of, of having sex or sexual dynamics, etc. We're not talking about as human to human, oh, this woman is beneath me type shit. It's more so in the dating world. Okay. All right. I got it. I still, I still disagree. In what way? Because I think that exactly what I said. Just because dudes are physically bigger than bigger than us, and because they, um, you know, make decisions and shit like that, Better. you know, whatever, whatever the fuck. <laughs> that doesn't mean that we're just, you know, there with no value. What I'm saying is, we also have value. We are able to give them comfort and. Give them kids and... He literally just said that. Yeah, I, but that makes us equal. We're just equal in different ways. That, okay. Words matter. Terminology matters. By you being different, you therefore cannot be equal. That's just, that's just bottom line of, of, of grammar, of, of context and words in general. I think majority of times women are just get triggered by certain words or by certain phrases or by certain things. And that's what makes you not understand that by being different, you cannot therefore be equal. That's literally d- different definitions. Yeah, I just don't get why he has to say stuff that's so triggering. Like he could have just said they're different, <laughs> but like... he didn't. <laughs> Her blood pressure can know. <laughs> Stop. Funny as fuck. <laughs> Anyway, so again, when you are a content creator, you kind of have to be able to speak to where people listen, right? If I'm going to be on the podcast and I'm like, hey, you guys, um, there's some women that can do um, push-ups just like you can do push-ups. And, but for the majority of men, they are stronger. But what, what's better or a better headline it. or a better attention-seeking thing that when you go into that uh, funnel, they can actually get better in health, wealth, and relationships Etc. Look, I understand that he's talking this way because most of his audience is male and because, you know... We speak it's directly. The, yes, yeah. we speak directly, easiest way to get the point across. It's just, it's just pissed me off. <laughs> All that's right. it, that's it. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> creates too much pressure on you as a man then. Because if, if you want to be this, like, macho man, do you not think that's going to cause a lot of strain on a relationship? Pressure creates diamonds. Because here's the thing, women are just a cherry on top. Like, you, you should have already built a cake by the time she comes into the picture. You know, you should have already conquered a boardroom or conquered uh, some kind of physical labor, or played uh, sports at some point in your life, uh, endured some kind of stress. Like, men need to go through pain. Men must become. Women are, men must become. Being a loser is unacceptable. If you're broke, fat, or you don't got yourself together, that's your problem. Yeah, but then men like you would complain about women because you'd say, oh, they only come for, like, the glory of it like, and not the graph. So... I'd rather be with someone that I'm building with. Oh, I've never, I've never, I've never said that women build. I actually say the contrary. I say women don't build; they move in. Yeah, but and don't I, you? And say I it? acknowledge that cold reality 100%. I tell guys they need to build the castle so that she can come in and, you know, put some things up here and there in your castle. But at the end of the day, you got to build the structure. Women aren't going to build it with you. Those days are done. Women but want to get. Some simple. women do though. Like a lot of women do. Some. She belongs to. Like one I know. I say a minority. A majority want a guy that comes pre-assembled. Yes. What, what is he talking about? Okay. Do you understand what he was talking about? Yeah. Yeah, so, exactly. Do you agree or disagree? Uh, oh, I mean, I agree with both of them. I think that women can build. Not many, but I think they're, especially nowadays, there's a lot more, more women with leadership qualities and can actually make shit happen. Hey, Jay, what the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean? What am I talking they about? They are not talking about that. They're talking about the in an instance of being in a relationship with men that women typically don't help you get to where you need to be. They wait for you to get to where you need to be and then go with yeah, you. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Okay, so do you agree with that or you disagree with that? I said I agree. Okay, I agree right. with both of them. Because I was like, what the hell are you talking about? No, nah, I agree <laughs> with both of them. So we got to go off of the majority, not the minority. If I'm advising men how to 
you know, operate in a dating marketplace, I can't tell them, look out for this 10% that wants to build with you. No, the reality is most women want you to come pre-assembled. And to be honest, the most attractive and youngest women that have the most options, they definitely want you to come pre-assembled. Women want winners. They sit at the finish line and pick the winners. <laughs> we can actually pause right here. Uh, what are your final thoughts when it comes to this whole exactor interaction? Would you go on a second date with Mr. Myron Gaines if you were sitting across from him? Fuck no. <laughs> I just had to, that in there. No. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. I had to throw that in there. All right, and then what I do you I would date final? her for sure, but him, ugh. Um, she can be recreational uses, not fucking dating uses. But go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Final thoughts. Um... I think they both made a lot of really good points. I think she could have been a little bit more educated on the facts. About? Just about the shit he was talking about. Like, she was like, what? Like, what? Mm -hmm. You know? Um, I think that he was too blunt. Too mean. <laughs> That's, this is crazy. He made me mad. This is crazy. <laughs> he made me mad, but you know what? I'll get over it, maybe. All right. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. If you want to follow her, her link to her Instagram will be in the description below. AJ Join. on replay. <laughs> Join Patreon Army. Get Red Pill and Shield on Amazon. Play the card game at your family events. Get a little spicy. Mm -hmm. And I'm out. Peace. Peace. <laughs> ah! <sighs>